and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and we're coming with another crime episode. Story of Alexis Lapirian Garth, aged 26, who was shot five times in front of the cops while holding a young three years old baby. Alexis, Man, a mother shot five of two, times was in front shot of by the cops? 20-year-old boyfriend, Carwan Yarbrough, all in the name of her cheating on him while he was in prison. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like this button. This is a new series that I came across, guys. The victim of a deadly domestic violence shooting on New Year's Day in Limestone County. Athens police say 26-year-old Alexis Garth died at Huntsville Hospital after being shot around 4 in the morning. Based on this story, we will be traveling to Athens, Alabama. Athens is a town in Alabama with a population of 26,000 people. Athens is in Limestone County and is one of the best places to live in Alabama. 000. Athens, Alabama is one of the oldest cities in the state and was named after the ancient city of Athens in Greece. Alexis Lapirian Garth was she a was mother a of two pie. beautiful kids. She was a down-to-earth young lady who enjoyed life with the people around her. Even when you, feel you know low, you're old you when you say cutie go. pie. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when the her Facebook account says she worked as customer service manager at Walmart and also worked as a cashier at Walmart. She, was she studied woman. physical therapy and rehabilitation at Calhoun Community College. For a side hustle, she tried to sell hair. She said, come shop. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, trying to make some money. Alexis, age 26, was involved in a relationship with a younger man, age 20. His name is Kyrwan Yarbrough. They both have a daughter who is eight months old and had only been in the relationship for less than a year. Okay. Who's mommy's favorite girl in the world? Me. <laughs> she said me. It is believed that Alexis was being abused previously by Kyrwan Yarbrough and she had tried numerous times to get out of the relationship but wasn't successful. On New Year's Day 2022, Alexis posted a photo with her boyfriend Kyrwan Yarbrough on Facebook in front of their new home in Athens. Okay. The caption read, He's when moves. they try to count you out, you make them count you in. We beat the odds. The hashtags hashtag happen year and hashtag no home accompanied Garth's choice post. Things, she moves. would be killed in the driveway of the oh, same house yeah. exactly a year later. Kyrwan, even though he is 20 years old, has had some rap sheets with the law. He was convicted in 2019 for shooting three kids. For the 2019 conviction, he, was he received a 36-month suspended sentence and put on probation for 24 months. His probation would later be revoked nice sometimes after that picture of him and Alexis in January 2022. According to District Judge Gray West's order, Yarbrough was granted mandatory release on December 2, 2022, even though his end of sentence was not set to be completed until May 2023. He was allowed to return home early December 2022. They would meet up and try to take things from there, but after a few weeks, it was a couple Alexis months, six, not six months, behaviors. Early. So she once again tried to let go, which would end up in fatal. Sometimes on New Year's Day, Alexis visited her mother where she was celebrating when Kyrwan Yarbrough showed up to drive her back to their home. A short time later, Several family members went to the store and Alexis's sister noticed she had left her keys in Alexis's car. Okay. Alexis met her sister at the store and returned her keys and then went back home. Just minutes after she had gotten back home, things had gone horribly wrong between Alexis and Kyrwan. He became So they did say that he she waited on him when he was locked up. Then I think I heard that before already. Came very violent and was making all sorts of threats to her. Alexis managed to call her mother Shanetta Garth, she told her to things were going left. Kyrwan could be heard over the phone saying, I'm going to kill her, the baby, kill you and kill myself. Yeah. Immediately she heard those scary lines, she called 911 explaining to them what is happening to her grandkid and her child. She then drove towards Alexis house. The cops were able to arrive at the house soon enough but not good enough. Immediately he soon saw enough, the cops attempting to enough. shoot the child right. and then Alexis 
but Alexis was able to turn around fast enough to take the bullet. He would eventually shoot her five times right in front of the cops. They were able to disarm him and take the eight months old baby to safety. Minutes later, the mother got to the scene looking for her oh, distance, where Yarbrough yeah. was laying on the floor with her daughter. Shanetta initially assumed that the couple were being detained due to an investigation into the domestic dispute before later realizing that Alexis was dead when she saw blood flowing on the pavement. Damn. Alexis would be rushed to Huntville Hospital but was pronounced dead. Twenty it's got to be heartbreaking to pull up on the scene. You're thinking, your, your baby all right and he getting detained and next thing you know you see blood, a uh, blood trail. Uh, she should have had permission to kill him right then. 20-year-old Kiruan Yarbrough was arrested at the scene and charged with capital murder. Capital County where one person is dead and another is behind bars arrested and charged with capital murder following a shooting early this morning. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us live in Athens in front of the home where police officers say they were Daquan up. He looks sleepy. Daquan, you've learned a woman was killed in what police are now calling a domestic dispute. Nolan, I've been outside talking to neighbors all day about this early What's morning shooting. Sure. Including ears. one man who says that he noticed erratic driving from the people that were in the house behind me. Now, if you take a look at your screen, you can see the mugshot of 20-year-old Chiron Yarbrough, who was arrested early this morning. He's charged with cap... He looked like he meant to do it, but he's a coward. He don't kill no woman because she... Man, that's crazy. Now, now what you gonna do? murder for shooting and killing 26 year old Alexis Garth at four o'clock this morning Athens police officers responded to a domestic violence shooting call where I am on 22,000 block of Oakdale Ridge Lane when officers arrived they say they found Garth in the driveway she was taken to Huntsville Hospital where she later died of her injuries I talked to a man who was at the home next door and detailed his reaction when the shooting happened went back to poke my head back outside to see what was going on and uh, I heard three gunshots so I shut the door yeah because you weren't getting involved and then within I don't know two or three minutes there was already cop cars here so I didn't know exactly what happened I thought maybe there was a robbery going on but uh, I don't I don't think so after you know reading a bunch of stuff learning more about the victim of a deadly domestic violence shooting on New Year's Day in Limestone County Athens police say 26 year old Alexis Garth died at Huntsville Hospital after being shot around 4 in the morning. New at 10, while the investigation is ongoing, we are hearing from Alexis's sister in an interview you'll see only on Way 31 News. Way 31's Brittany Harry reports from Athens. Tonight, the family still very much processing Alexis Garth's death. The 26-year-old died after she was... So I wonder, did she ever do a protective order on him or anything like that? Or did, they never said once that they had a a history of domestic battery of domestic violence there's just this one incident so far even though she told people that he was being violent to her in the past was shot multiple times by a man she once loved how he spoke he loved my sister um so no i didn't think it would come to this point he loved her to death i did miracle scott is alexis gar's younger sister she says she last saw her sister about an hour before she was shot. She was a light, very family oriented, a great friend. You could talk to her about anything. Um, she could light up a room by just walking in it, beautiful smile. Just an all around good person. I can believe person. that because she looked, she was beautiful. Somebody who didn't deserve to die like this. Scott says her sister was shot five times Ooh. by Chiron Yarbrough at a home the two shared on Oakdale Ridge Lane. Athens police say Garth was found in the driveway before being rushed to Huntsville Hospital where she later died. The so they was making progress. They had a new house. They had kids. So I don't understand the turn uh, all of a sudden for him to just snap and kill her. But like they said in the beginning, it may be because she cheated on him when he was gone. But that still don't give you no reason to kill the woman. And now your kids don't have a mother or father. set to go before a judge tomorrow morning for a preliminary hearing. Court records show he was out on bond for a theft of property charge out of Chilton County when that shooting happened. 
Some people would say she deserves it because she was cheating. Yarn yeah, what? His head believed she was cheating while he was in prison. Even you can't. Somebody justify that? They need to go where he going. Can't justify so somebody getting killed for cheating. Anyway, Kaiwan is facing a capital charge because. Because one thing about it, that's hers, and you have your own. If she want to give it to somebody, she was giving it to somebody before you met her. You ain't the only person she done had sex with. God, don't. Oh, you kill a girl because she cheated. Alexis was shot to death in front of her three-year-old daughter. It is so sad that he was allowed to leave prison when he wasn't really due to leave and Alexis would be fatally shot less than one month later. Yarbrough... No, you can't do that. Uh, it's called early release. You can't de de uh, detect that he was going to go out and kill somebody because you uh, the judge early released him. He was doing good, and so he was able to get released. You can't judge that by that. Who is being held in the Limestone County Jail. Alexis leaves behind a three-year-old and a second daughter, too young to understand what happened. Yarbrough, the 20-year-old, is that child's father. We really do hope Alexis receives the justice she deserves. It is sad to see some people say it's okay to be shot five I'm times because she was cheating even though that could not be substantiated. I wouldn't care if you caught the woman in bed with the man. I want to be having sex with somebody too. I don't want to be in jail making toilet paper pregnant. That's crazy. Friends and family held a Virgil on her behalf after the horrible crime. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Alexis Garth. May Alexis's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Hello. I'm back. I hate this episode ran across my desk, but it's something that needs to be discussed is domestic violence across America, men is killing women and women is killing men in the heat of passion, but it's still no reason to kill someone. You didn't give birth to that person, so why did you uh, have authorization to kill that person? Like I stated before, that's hers and you have yours. If you want to give it to somebody, you can. If she want to give it to somebody, she can. There's no reason to kill someone over an allegation that was never proved in the first place. Now this lady that lost her life because an ignorant fool then killed her over something he'd assumed and now he's going to be jacking off for the rest of his life. Well, thank you for joining me today on Start Apart TV. This is a disturbing case. I just had to let everybody know that I, it ran across my desk and I had to cover it. Thank you for joining me. Hit the subscribe button and you guys have a wonderful night. Please stay safe and see you guys in the next video.